What's up everybody, we have some massive spoilers for Dragon Ball Super Chapter 61 in the form of leaks showing off Vegeta in his prime. He is kicking some ass. Major spoilers, Moro has a backup plan. Sorry Vegeta fans, it sucks. But we'll have to see how he handles the backup plan. But Vegeta, until then, is kicking the shit out of Moro. Now his technique is essentially the forced separation of the spirit, or for the sake of this video, I'm gonna call it spirit split. So what Vegeta does to Moro is rip the energy out of the little goat's mouth, like some freaking shreds of grass, and throw it up into space. Now this actually de-evolves Moro, very, very interesting. This is showing how much power that Vegeta is just ripping away from him, like he's splitting his spirit from his body. Now, it's very reminiscent of Moro's magic key stealing abilities, so I'm wondering what like, the actual difference is. It, it seems like it might be more violent than Moro's ability, and more potent, also, because the, the amount of power that it seems to suck out of Moro seems to be very substantial. But he hurls all of it into outer space. I'm not exactly sure where exactly it goes, but I'm curious to find out uh, when the official chapter comes out. Uh, but this is really awesome, and I can see how it helps him. It's, it's like, hey, Moro, here's a taste of your own medicine. Uh, very... Um, I don't know, I feel like there could have been an, a more original technique, a more interesting technique, but we'll see uh, more detail when the actual chapter comes out. But Dende even notices this on the lookout. Now that's a really cool touch. Um, there's so much of it going around there that they're, they're like, oh wow, look at all this freaking stuff going in outer space. Then Vegeta uh, proceeds to pummel the ever-living shit out of Moro. And as he's pummeling him, it's very interesting that he, Moro seems to be coughing up more of his, like, key, or more of spirits, I guess, he, you know, every punch that Vegeta delivers is splitting his key or spirit away from him, um, even more and more. So, it, you know, Vegeta seems to have Moro dead to rights here, but this is where we get complications. Like, Vegeta fans, up to this point, like, we're happy, but of course this is Dragon Ball and nothing can ever be just straightforward. Hero comes in and defeats the bad guy with a new technique, right? <laughs> so there's bound to be twists and turns and Moro has a backup plan in absorbing Shimareka and Android 73. What the fuck? Who could have freaking predicted this? You know, it seems like, it looks like he attacks Shimareka and 7-3 and he's like, get in my body. <laughs> oh my god, who would have freaking guessed this? Like, I'm sure a few people might have guessed this, but this is, like, this is going into the territory of some freaking fan fiction shit, you know what I'm saying? And this, you know, if anybody has ass pulls in this, Moro is reaching way deep up in there and saying, you know what, I'm gonna just pull this ability straight out of my ass. <laughs> but, uh, you know, a lot of us would have predicted that Moro had some other ability or something that he was hiding up his sleeve, and I guess, I guess this was it. He has the ability to essentially fuse other people into himself. So he's like Majin Buu, I guess. So he's basically pulling a Majin Buu is what he's doing. Uh, so, um... Very, very creative <laughs> sarcasm. Um, and I don't, I really don't know about this design. He looks so much more generic now. Like, oh, sure, he looks cool and all, but he does look like a fan fiction y design and just much, much more generic. I actually would have, wouldn't have minded the old Moro just for him to be old the entire time, you know? But uh, it was interesting seeing his evolution the whole time. So everybody's shocked and Moro is like, okay, oh, I'm super strong now. But think of this, like at the level of power Moro was after Vegeta split his his energy and spirit from him or whatever, um, would him absorbing Shimareka, who was a weak ass, and 7-3, um, what is that going to, like, that's not going to propel his power really that 
much, like to that degree. Like Vegeta is stronger than Ultra Instinct Omen Goku. So one benefit of uh, Absorbing Android 73, he might have unlimited stamina now. Um, so on top of having all of Moro's magic and abilities, he probably also has Android 73's abilities, which is unlimited, unlimited energy and stamina. And also he has the ability to copy others' uh, techniques and stuff uh, like that. So there are some indications that Vegeta will take the L in this chapter. Uh, as here, Vegeta is just plowing the crap out of the, a new Moro. But, you know, in typical Dragon Ball fashion, he bashes him down to the ground. There's a bunch of smoke. And when the smoke clears, he is just fine. And also this page of Moro facing off against uh, Gohan, Goku, and Piccolo. Uh, but let's not forget all of the energy that Vegeta had split off and went into outer space. That might be something of a trump card that Vegeta has up his sleeve. Uh, that they could use so I'm very interested to see where this goes and I'm interesting to, to see all of the details that go into this and hopefully this video won't get freaking copyright striked I'm gonna put a bunch of freaking color filters all over these leaks um, so that's all that's the thoughts I have I can't wait for the chapter to actually come out in, in full and translated so as always drop your thought ways down in the comments below and thanks for watching take it easy